What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space and we're back in Space Engineers and before we get to anything else I have to say an enormous thank you for the support I've got. I've just hit 2,000 subscribers, woke up this morning to that and that's amazing. Never thought I'd get this far and it's only due to the cool feedback and cool support that I'm getting from all of you lot, so thank you so much. Now, moving on to the real deal, we are also back with the next gen carrier. So. In front of me here, we have my attempt at making something that is essentially a chaff generator. So chaff, for those of you that aren't aware of the concept, is something used by aircraft in order to get rid of, in particular, heat-seeking missiles. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the compound is, but the idea is you release a lot of something very hot behind the aircraft, and anything that's heat-seeking tracks that instead of your plane. So I've tried to make sort of the similar idea, but the idea is we're going to distract some turrets with it. So before we move on to this ship itself, I'm going to go at what exactly is inside it that's making it all work and why exactly I wanted one. So this is, this is the unit itself, the little chaff printer, and I tried to make this as compact as I possibly could, which is part of the reason why it's a small ship part. And this is designed to go onto the carrier and some of my larger craft as a defense mechanism. So be it you're coming in for a base attack or you're under attack yourself, this is the sort of thing that you could activate to distract anything that's coming towards you. And the idea here is, this is the uh, warheads that it's shooting out, and on the real variant the thruster is set with override on to max, so it's flying away, I just didn't want this one to escape. And it's, it's literally just got the thruster, gyro, reactor, and three decoy blocks to distract the turrets. Uh, and that's all mounted onto a merge block, and this is what this is going to be printing. And you know, the printer itself is nothing more than a projector, a reactor, and a bit of framework to make this stuff be able to connect up right to a ship. So this all lines up is, is, is the correct distances that you could cargo feed this if you wanted to. But as that was a little bit boring on its own, I thought I'd try implementing it into a ship design as well. So I'm going to call this thing the turkey, because it, it's kind of fat and doesn't look like really it should be able to fly. But what this is sort of aimed at doing is being the craft that arrives with the front of your attack force and deploys a whole bunch of these chaff off the sides. And as you can see, I've literally copy and pasted that sort of small part and then blended it all together to create this. Um, and in doing so, distract all the turrets so that your main attack force can then come in unhindered and take them down. Because turrets can be one of your biggest issues, honestly. So... Uh, there's not a huge amount to its creation other th other than the, the copy and pasting of that part. In here I've literally just sort of connected it all together to some cargo bays at the front uh, and then prettied it up and put a framework around it and I quite like the idea of it being sort of a, a skeletal design as it had uh, all come from this single individual component. And one thing you'll notice with this is, a bit like the Vulture, the uh, all the projections are offset, they're not lined up correctly with where they're supposed to be building, and that is because this is of course designed to deploy its ships at full speed. So as we take off here, you'll see that, I've just turned the dampers off as well, you'll see that everything is now lining up correctly with those merge blocks, and once it has lined up correctly and we've hit full speed, and you'll see we've stopped accelerating here, I can hit one, uh, which starts the timers, and it will start building these things and firing them out the sides. And it builds them pretty quickly. Uh, you can in fact build them even quicker manually. There is a minimum time on a timer of one second, and really with this I need half seconds. So it is possible for them to come out even quicker, but at the same time they are... It's not, it's not exactly a small amount of ordnance coming out of this ship. And the idea is that you would charge through a base while releasing these, and none of the turrets at that point would be of any use whatsoever. So if I just hit, in fact, let's finish building this, let them loose, and then I'll hit the button to stop it all, and we can just drive out of the way, out of the path of fire of those things, and stop up, and I can show you how exactly sort of the timers and so on on this are all set up. So in here we've got the usual collections of groups, so a merge and a weld group is always really needed for this one. Uh, and then down... At the bottom we have our timers so we have a stage one and a stage two and as i said this delay cannot be any smaller than a minute than one uh, but i need that so go in here very very straightforward turns on the merge blocks to make sure that they will weld because they're connected turns on the welders and in this design the welders never get turned off until you stop the whole thing there's no point turning them off in between it builds that quickly and then starts the next stage very straightforward and then the next stage turns off the, the merge blocks to release the things uh, and then starts the first the, the whole thing again. Uh, and that's all there is to it. And then we have a stop that literally just turns on the merges to make sure nothing's going to go weird. 
stops the welders and stops both timers. Uh, and that's the end result you get with this ship. Uh, relatively straightforward to set up, but hopefully a reasonably interesting sort of idea and technique. I certainly thought, I can't even remember who, told, who gave me the inspiration for it, but I certainly think the chaff concept is a really cool one. And the last thing I'd like to finish up with with this design is to show you a little demonstration of it in action. So let me just jump to that now. So here we are, we've got the red ship out there in front of us, and that's all been set to hostile, and it's got, I don't know, eight, ten turrets on the red ship, I think, something along those lines. So we're just going to sort of do a, an attack run past that. Obviously, this wouldn't be the attacking part of the craft, the, uh, of the fleet. This is purely designed to be the distraction, but it gives us a good example of exactly how something like that is going to respond when this comes past. So just getting up a decent amount of speed, giving ourselves a little bit of a run-up, although I did make sure that with this ship you don't need too much of a run-up. I think it, it's a big flaw if you have a ship like that that needs a huge run-up in order to be able to deploy its stuff effectively. Um, so let's come in here and I reckon about 900 meters out we'll start deploying these things so that we've got no chance of the turrets giving us any hassle. So we're coming straight into range and as you can see that those turrets are not tracking on me. They're tracking on all sorts of stuff but I'm, I'm not the one that's being tracked. So we've gone past and we're unscathed in amongst all the sparks. Uh, so once we've let off the next batch, I'll stop the thing and we'll go back around for another quick pass and I'll talk a little bit about some of the... Oh, whoops, forgot about that, yeah. What you don't want to be doing is um, <laughs> slowing down too quickly. They kind of catch you back up again. Um, yeah, I'll talk about some of the failings of this craft because there are two big issues with it and one of them is one that I've caused and one of them is one that's intrinsic and you can start to see what I'm going to say here that is as we turn around these things are moving the projections are moving and weirdly it can mean that if you turn at the wrong time or in the wrong way you can make it build the wrong bit of the projection so in this case it builds the decoy blocks against the sides of the ship and then, of course, you can't you can't release them. So this is strictly a straight lines machine, unfortunately. As much as I'd like to be able to make it turn corners, because the projections behave like this, I just don't think you can. Uh, and the other thing, and the other flaw with it, which the keen eyes may well have noticed, we might even bombard him with some of these, uh, is that I've actually stuck this when copy and pasting. I put these merge blocks too close together, so the, the top and bottom ones are coming out as a single unit. But that's that's a silly error by me rather than anything else. I only the space engineers just crashed, and I'm quite glad it happened, because it also reminded me that there seems to be some sort of issue at the moment that's causing this ship to make space engineers crash every now and then. I've never had it with any other ship, but this one... <clears throat> this one will cause game errors, so I've been submitting the bug reports. I have no idea why, but just so you know, if you do try this out and you get game crashes, that's what it's from, and hopefully the developers are already aware. But anyway... Thanks a lot for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks a lot for the 2000 subs and all your support, all your feedback, all your suggestions. Really loving it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like, please hit subscribe, it really helps me out. And I will catch you next time.